This is a video on how to uh, bypass your charging port and still run your mower, uh, your uh, Ryobi mower, without the charging port connected. Uh, you run a little uh, jumper wire. So I'll get into the uh, details of what I did. Uh, but it did work. So I've got a problem with my charging port. So I removed it and I'm trying to replace it. In the meantime, uh, they're not that easy to find, the charging ports. But uh, in the meantime, I'd like to mow my grass. So I found a, a YouTube video from RIB, and I'll, I'll leave a link in, my, uh, in the description of this video. And what he did was he made up a, a jumper wire with a fuse. And he used a five amp fuse. And uh, he actually cut the plug off of this control uh, box and connected the wires to this. Uh, this is still good, I believe, for me, so I, I want to keep this and without uh, busting it up. So I went ahead and made a jumper. I had some small um, spade connectors. They're the narrow, narrow style. And I soldered those on, put a little shrink tube on it, and I'm going to plug it in this connector, which normally this little control box plugs into. Now, there's three wires in this connector. And uh, where he ran the jumper is across the red and yellow wires. And of course, this connector here is all covered up. So without having to uh, cut this all open, you got to pay close attention to this, that the red and yellow are on this side of this connector as shown. So I'm going to run the jumper across those two connectors. And it actually kind of clicks in place snaps in place snap and now I can turn my key on and everything turns on so now I'm going to get on the uh, mower and see if, uh, if it'll actually run and go uh, my batteries were fully charged up before I took the charging port out uh, so I should be able to get at least a couple mows out of this before I have to figure out how to uh, charge the batteries without uh, uh, without the charging port. But in the meantime, I can at least get my uh, grass mode, I think. So I'm gonna button this up and uh, see if we can get this thing going. Well, it moves and... And the blades are turning. So I think I'm in business at least until uh, my new charging port comes in. My grass is getting a little bit long and I was getting a little nervous about waiting for the part or having to uh, hire somebody or ask somebody to mow my grass. So anyway. Well, I did mow a little bit of my front yard uh, to show that it does work. Nothing blew up, nothing smoked. Uh, so it looks like it did solve uh, my temporary problem of mowing my grass until I can get a new charging port in. So uh, thanks to, again to uh, r &B for sharing that little hack to uh, bypass the, the uh, charging port. It uh, certainly kept me out of a little bit of trouble.